Okay, hello everybody. We got to talk about the crime uh, because the crime is getting out. And I'm not talking about New York City. We know New York City has a lot of problems, but now the middle of the island is undergoing uh, a lot of things that I have to talk about with you. Um, and uh, uh, before I get started with this, uh, I have seen so many vagrants all around the place in Hicksville and Mineola and places. I mean, I saw one hanging out right by the courthouse yesterday when I was passing by on the bus right here in Mineola. They were all over the place. More than them ever. There was three men sleeping uh, by the uh, Boston Market uh, in, in Hicksville uh, a couple of days ago. Um, they are all over. But I, I And another one camped out where the Sterling Bank was. Uh, they're all... I'm not take, I'm Like I said, I'm not documenting it. I'm not showing you them anymore. Uh, but it's it's out of control. And now we're seeing the crime. And uh, this latest thing that I'm going to read to you, I'm really shaken up about... It's a shooting that happened at Deer Park, not very far from the Edgewood Preserve at all, right by the train station. Happened in broad daylight at 10.30. Uh, so we're going to start off with that. I heard about it on News 12. They spent all the five seconds on it, of course, because, again, they don't really care about reporting the crime. Uh, so, and there isn't a whole lot here. Uh, this is uh, the only site I could find something on it. Uh, and it says, police investigating shots fired into a taxi at the Deer Park Long Island Railroad Station. And this happened... Uh, the, the third squad detectives are investigating shots fired into a taxi at the Deer Park Railroad Station on July 20th at approximately 10.20 a.m. So it's broad daylight. Uh, uh, very disturbing, uh, but not surprising because we know Deer Park is, is being neglected. We, we, we see all the trash everywhere, uh, dumping everywhere. It's, it's middle of the island, so it gets all the, all the, all the disrespect uh, and all the problems. Uh, and again, uh, the news doesn't care because again, the news he geared to these, these certain dem the certain kind of people on the South Shore, uh, and uh, not 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 the middle of the island. Uh, and if you go to News 12's website, which I'm going to do right now, we can find the News 12 site. Uh, you'll see that there is nothing on the crime here. Uh, very little on the crime, because uh, again, they gear to a certain demographic. They don't gear to you know they gear to the, the these these white finance professionals, you know, uh, and they they don't care what the rest of us are going through. Um, they don't care about the crime. Uh, they don't care about anything. Uh, and, and they were talking about uh, they're doing a story on the restaurants here. I want to show you this because this is classic example of what I mean with News Twelve favoritism here. If I can find it, of course now it's not here. So, Stories come and go from their website. They, they, yeah. Here we go. Protect the. Re this is the one. Uh, so this is the, this story here that they did here. You'll see uh, where they were here. And this is because of what happened in Long Beach uh, with the. Uh, so, uh, so you can see those are the crowds there that happened in Long Beach. It's a party to these people. And the governor's upset, but now he's threatening to close all the restaurants down. And uh, but the point here is that the, the the people that they interview are all on the South Shore, so uh, you'll see what I mean. Warning for restaurants and bars if the violations continue. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to have to roll back the opening. But that's time. not what. It and we're going to have to close bars and restaurants. That is what we are going to have to do. The bad restaurant and bar owners. All right, that's that. This is off topic. All right, from the video, I don't know why it's doing this, but the computer is like, it's not fair at all. It's so not fair. Long Island restaurant owners like Bobby Gullinello of South Shore Dive in West Sayville say, I think that they should just crack down a little bit more on the people who aren't abiding by the rules. The last thing that we want to see is another rule. South Shore again. South Shore. It's always about the South Shore. Thomas Lorch, the owner of the Village Lantern Restaurant in Lindenhurst, adds... South Shore again! And the numbers go up dramatically, you can understand it. But our numbers so, basically have to... So, again, be this is uh, News 12. Uh, just, that's all they care about. Uh, what about the devastation of the middle of the island? What about that? They don't care about the middle of the island. They don't care about the middle of the island. So, uh, and let's talk about another town that's in decline right now. Plainview. A shooting in Plainview. Plainview is starting to go down the tubes now. So gunfire erupted at a large party in the backyard of a Plainview home last Sunday, and one person was hit in the leg. 
This happened in Maxine Avenue at 1.15 a.m. Sunday after several shots were fired into a crowd from an unknown gunman. And this, uh, let's see where this is at. Uh, this is uh, in Plainview. It's in Plainview. It's in this part of Plainview is starting to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I mean in a minute here. I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is Plainview here. Uh, note the house here. Uh, it's all abandoned, overgrown weeds. They look at the street falling apart down here. Um, it's really bad. It's really, really bad here. Really bad. Look at that street. So, again, this is Plainview. So, the problems in Hicksville are now spreading into Plainview. Uh, so, uh, this is where it happened. And, again, it's all, it's the middle of the island. So, what else is new? Middle of the island. Uh, and th this was, uh, so, News 12 did cover this. Uh, man, uh, they did cover this. Let's see how long the video was. 27 seconds. Look at that. 27 seconds. You got to be kidding me. 27 seconds. That's all it gets. But the South Shore gets all the minutes in the world, right? Because certain demo certain demographic lives there. There's a certain demographic right there. All right? Oh, uh, so let's see. You got the all right, Deer Park Pat didn't have it. I got all the, I thought I had more crime here. Yeah, this this also happened in Hicksville. Here we go. Uh, Farmingdale man stabs co-worker during fight at Hicksville restaurant. Happened at the Peruvian restaurant in Thursday. Uh, the guy who did it was lived in Farmingdale. So uh, and then uh, and then you have this one. Multiple shoplifters arrested here. Mostly all in the middle of the island as well. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you, you get the idea. Middle of the island is going through a lot of crime right now. Uh, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Um, but again, if you go to Newsday, Newsday isn't even talking about most of these things either. It's it's just it's just there's so much and and the fact that this this has been buried. It's not even on the website. Ten thirty, Deer Park Railroad Station is shooting. That's pretty major news, but it's buried. This is all we get. This is all we get because it's all about. You know what it's all about. You know what it's all about, and you know that's the plan for us is the plan is to, you know, if you want to live somewhere safe, you're going to have to leave Long Island, and you're going to have to, because the safe, only the South Shore, that's where they're living it up, that's where they live in the good life, while we're dealing with all the misery and all the problems uh, here in the middle of the island, and it's only getting worse, and now I don't even feel, feel safe hiking in these Pine Barrens, who knows, maybe a guy could pull a gun on me, uh, you know, I mean, th this, it's, it, it's not safe, it's not safe. And that's, that's, that's what they want. They want to make sure only the safe areas are for a certain demographic. On the South Shore, while well, the rest of us are sitting pretty. Uh, well, the rest, oh, no, they're sitting pretty while the rest of us are sitting with poop. poop. We're sitting with poop. The bums, the homeless, they're everywhere. They, they, there's no law and order. All the problems are just dumped in the middle of the island. And, and, and all we get is 17 seconds. The shooting at, at the Deer Park train station is pretty damn major. It's pretty damn major. All right, 10.30. It's broad daylight, my gosh. It's not like it's the middle of the night. It's broad daylight. Luckily, no one was hit, but, I mean, can you imagine? Shooting right here at Deer Park. This was uh, before they remodeled it, but, I mean, it's not safe here. Because you got all these criminals out of jail because there's no law enforcement in this state. There are a lot of, look, we need a lot, I would say one out of every 100 people I see out there needs to be in jail. And I know some people on the left are going to disagree with me, but we need law enforcement in this state. There are a lot of people up to no good that are just hanging around. I, on the bus, we had a thug on the bus today blasting his, his, his ghetto-ass music up through his speaker. Uh, he was having a confrontation with the bus driver. The bus driver was afraid to do anything because the guy looked like he could, could have a weapon on him. I mean, these people belong in jail. They belong in jail. Maybe you on the South Shore sitting pretty in your own enclaves don't have to deal with all this crap. But we do. And we're tired of it. But that's the plan because they want to force us to live in New Jersey. Sorry. If you want to be safe, you're going to have to live in New Jersey because the only safe places on Long Island are for a certain demographic. And if you're not part of that demographic of these white finance professionals, well, I'm sorry, you're you're not going to be you're not going to be allowed to have a good life on Long Island. You're going to be living in the ghetto. Um, 
And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I figured I'd talk about it because News 12 didn't. News 12, you suck. That's all I gotta say. Take care, everybody.